afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark McGregor and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2013 HSV GDS this afternoon. It is the LSA, so it is the supercharged version and model year 14. Starting at the front of the car, finished in pure white as you can see. Uh, we've got our colour-coded front parking sensors. Uh, we do have HID headlights as well and daytime running lamps running through the front there. As you'll see as we scan around the exterior of the car, full body kit uh, being the GDS. And as we move around to the driver's side, I'll point out a few things as we go. Um, we've got the distinctive black HSV alloy wheels, our large HSV calipers as well. It's obviously got the larger disc rotors also. Um, our indicator is in our front guard there as well, just alongside the vent. And as we move to the, to the doors, paying attention to the fact that this car is unmarked, we do have proximity keys in the GDS, so they don't need to leave your pocket or in, in the instance of a female, your purse. Um, and as we move down towards the rear of the car, once again, as you can see, not a scratch on either of the alloy wheels. It's pretty much been kept in pristine showroom condition, this car. Uh, and the consistency continues as we come around to the rear of the car. Distinctive twin blacked out, well, chrome black um, exhaust tips. We do have a reverse camera as well in this car. Now, just a minor little blemish, just a very small little mark just on the rear bar there. I'm being fairly pedantic, but just uh, wanted to highlight that. Our distinctive LSA badging and the GTS badging on the back as well. Uh, we do have the rear spoiler. Distinctive clear tail lights, just sets it off. Gives it that uh, really impressive look at the back, that tough look. And it is a tough looking car. As we move to the passenger side now, a couple of really minor little scratches just on our left hand rear alloy wheel there. Uh, once again, as we scan down and look at the paintwork and the finish of the car, you know I've struggled to pick a blemish on this car. The only other very minor cosmetic mark is a very small scratch just on our left hand front alloy wheel as well. Uh, but the overall exterior condition of this car is outstanding. At the front of the car now, as I mentioned earlier, 6.2 litre supercharged motor. Um, gonna give you great, great performance. 430 kilowatts of power it's putting out and 740 newton metres of torque. Obviously from a fuel consumption point of view, if you're looking at purchasing a car like this, fuel consumption doesn't matter. Uh, they all do have individual build numbers and this particular one is build number 835 of the GDS run at the time. So we're around at the rear of the car now, simple matter of just uh, releasing our boot lid by holding on the, uh, the boot lid release. Um, just to reveal a really good storage area, so plenty of cargo space in the back of the GDS. We've also got the factory little uh, mesh netting as well. So if you're just buying those two or three bit bags of groceries, you can just pop them in there so they're not sliding all over the boot. Underneath our cover here, we'll just have a, a good look at the... Uh, no, it doesn't run a spare, does it? No. So just another function with the GDSs and mo most of the late model Holdens, um, you do also have the ability to start the vehicle just by the uh, remote and it won't work for me now after I've just done it once. So just holding on that button and the car will automatically start. Really good to use in hot weather. Listen to the distinctive sound that the exhaust puts out as well. Really impressive. Um, just gives us a really great sound. Everything about this car just screams toughness. So here we are inside the GDS now and uh, I'll run through all of the features with you, paying once again attention to how well this car presents. All of our uh, power window and mirror switches on our driver's armrest, manual release for our boot lid down there, and a, a button to lock and unlock our doors manually if we wish. It does have automatic headlights, and then just an adjustment for the brightness of both our dashboard and our multi-function screen. Also does have heads-up display, um, which basically gives us our speedo readout um, through the windscreen of the car when we're driving. Uh, good to assist us in not taking your eyes off the road. Only done 41,000 kilometres this particular car. And then our little button on our indicator stalk um, shows us everything about the car. Uh, tyre pressures, uh, you know, fuel consumption, the best fuel consumption or average fuel consumption. Running at 14.7 litres average combined per 100 k's at the moment. 
We've got a height and reach adjustable steering wheel, so telescopic. Lock it into position just by the use of the lever on our left hand side. Our audio uh, controls, our Bluetooth buttons, and then uh, this knob to change between radio stations or tracks, depending on what sort of music you're, you're listening to. Uh, cruise control settings here, forward collision mitigation button on the top there, and lane departure warning uh, below that. Moving into the centre, uh, just uh, as we do, uh, push button start. So just a matter of putting your foot on the brake, hitting the button to start the vehicle. And then into our centre dash section, satellite navigation as we can see up on our screen display at the moment. Put it into reverse and there's our reverse camera. I can manually turn that, those reverse sensors off if I wish to. Dual zone climate control, air conditioning uh, controls here. And then down below that, we've got an oil, oil pressure uh, dial and then the one on our left is uh, well sorry oil temperature and oil pressure um, dials just there distinctive GDS silver badging six speed auto of course in this car um, and behind that we've got a button here traction control button in the middle and then the knob just changes as changes the mode of the car between sport performance and track mode uh, electric handbrake on our right hand side and on our left hand side reverse park assist and our reverse parking sensors as I mentioned. Generous size cup holders here in the middle and then a, a good little storage compartment in there with our USB and auxiliary inputs and an additional 12 volt outlet there as well. Now we'll scan around the inside of the car, a couple of things to pay attention to. It does have a Bose sound system being a, a GDS so top top of the range sound, uh, leather, leather seats, leather infills in our door trims as well. Um, so it certainly presents as a prestige car that's got all the performance. Um, the other thing is it does have six airbags, so front side and curtain airbags. So certainly an extremely safe car to drive as well. Only other thing we'll have a quick look at whilst we're inside the car is the service books. Um, as you'd probably expect being a GDS, they're going to be spot on. The initial first service, 11,000k service, 34,000k service, done at Barry Burke over the road and then uh, we've just done the intermediate service when the vehicle came into our stock. So just in summary, a really impressive example of a 2013 HSV GDS. This version is the LSA supercharged. 6.2 litre supercharged motor giving us 430 kilowatts of power, 740 newton metres of torque. So you've got all the performance in the world at your disposal. As you saw from the video, exterior and interior as new, only 41,000 Ks, about to tick over 42 tonight. Give us a call on 99070 and it'll probably be me that will help you out.